Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tom Sherry. Welcome, everyone. I'm Tim Pham. Well, on the day after Christmas, the mother of a one-year-old mm. boy was shot and killed at an apartment complex in the Hilliard neighborhood. Her killer was also her boyfriend of one year. Joshua Forrester was in court today where he told officers that the victim tried to break up with him the night before and he just couldn't let go. Crem 2's Brandon Jones was at that hearing and explains what's next. Joshua Forrester. Did you understand the rights that I read to you? Uh. Just one day after police found a woman shot to death in her home, the suspect taken in by officers made his first appearance in court. Joshua Forrester is the man who's been connected to this murder and sat in front of a judge today to hear his rights. A bond of $1 million has been set on his behalf, and according to the court affidavit facts, Forster had a relationship with the victim and the two shared a one-year-old child together. In a statement to investigators, Forster says he shot his girlfriend because he couldn't let her go. Thank you for your break, Your Honor, and we have clarified the issues. Should he post bond, the judge has made it clear that Forrester will not be able to have contact with that child in the midst of this judicial process. That, and any attempt to contact the victim's family members could bring down a harsher penalty. I spoke with the victim's mother and she tells me her family will pursue custody while social services handle their due diligence. Furthermore, the defendant did commit the above crime against an intimate partner. In his arrest complaint, the judge states Forrester is being charged with first degree murder. Premeditated intent to cause the death of another person and armed with a firearm were all mentioned. I reached out to Forrester for a possible comment, but at this point, he has declined. In Spokane, Brandon Jones. Crim 2 News. Mm. So we do want to mention if you or someone you know is a victim of domestic violence, help is available. You can reach out to any of the resources listed there on your screen for help. Emergency shelter is also available at the YFA Connections Crisis Residential Center in Spokane and also at the YWCA Alternatives to Domestic Violence Program. Switching gears to weather now, Chief Meteorologist Tom Sherry here to tell us a little bit more about if we could see any snow this weekend. Yeah, I do think we're going to see some snow, but here's the deal. I think it's going to fall in the overnight hours, okay. Saturday night into early Sunday morning, and I think that'll make it easier for people that are out and about and want to know something. So again, we'll look for that snow late Saturday night, more rain and snow New Year's Eve. We'll look for a slight chance of rain and snow showers again on Wednesday and Thursday. So I think that for skiers and snowboarders, you get some freshies, uh, but I don't think it's going to be falling during the time of day when most people are on the road, so that will make that things good. look a little bit better. So we'll have a look at your seven-day forecast coming up in a few